What's up y'all, it's your girl Lenny Cheyenne, back at it again with another video. And today, today's the day, today's the day that I officially become a mother. So here he is, my first child. His name is Louie. Louie is... Louis is Louis is six weeks old and he is a sheep who a teacup poodle mixed with a shizu. Maybe me, my cousin, and my brother are gonna be co-parenting because we've been wanting a dog for forever. We finally get one, but unfortunately I'm going to school. So I don't know. He's not really gonna be able to like spend time with me as much as I want him to. So supposedly he will only grow up to be at the most 14 pounds, I believe. But for all we know, he might, you know, stay kind of small. I know he won't stay this small because he's technically still a newborn, but he won't get that big, big either, which is why he's good for a house dog. Cause my grandma, she didn't really want a dog, but us being us, we, we weren't really going for it. So, so some of you all might know that I am technically now a sophomore in college. A second semester sophomore if we're counting credits but i'm currently a sophomore in college and i'm majoring in mass communications and of course i was class of COVID 19 class of 2020 but you know my school year really didn't go that bad but it could have been better so this school year i'm doing all i can to make sure my school year is what i want it to be you know like it has to be the college experience for real i mean i know they talking about these numbers coming back up and everything. You know, I'm definitely going to take it serious. But at the same time, we have to bounce back from last year because last year was a flop. So this semester, me and my bestie are getting an apartment. So I bought a couple of things. Oh, I can really show y'all. I can go in there and show y'all what I got. So I'm going to, um, Louis is going to sleep. So I might put him down and show you guys what I got for my apartment so far. I know the apartment is going to be... Four bedrooms. It's a four bedroom apartment with the kitchen, you know, living room, typical apartment stuff. I have my own bathroom this semester. Last semester I was living in a dorm and they had me in a, we're not even going to talk about it. We're not even going to speak of it. But if you've been to a public, you know, university, really any university, I'm pretty sure you've heard of a community bathroom. And last semester, that's unfortunately what I had to deal with. And all I have to say is people are nasty. People are really really nasty people are nasty and people are inconsiderate so i'm very grateful that this semester i have my own bathroom so this should be nice i'm really excited and my cousin is also joining me in my college so not only am i gonna have my best friend but i'm also gonna have my cousin so you know i'm gonna be dragging her into my bs because that's just what you do when your cousin's with you you know you gotta show out like you gotta drag them to your bs and by bs i don't mean anything dangerous or anything you know scandalous but of course fun definitely fun I'm going to show y'all the things I got. Hopefully, like, I know this semester, everything's supposed to be, you know, kind of going back to normal. So, you know, the welcoming, the whole, you know, little thing they're supposed to do when we first get there. That's supposed to be big and nice and all that. And then we're actually supposed to be having homecoming. We had homecoming last year, but we didn't really have a game for real. So this year, I think we're actually going to... Okay, let me help. We didn't have a game for real. But this year, I think we're actually going to have... Is he stuck on me? Poop. Okay. But this year, I think we're actually going to have, like, a football game, you know. And it's going to be, like, the real deal. And I'm really excited. Really, really, really excited. I actually hope that it lives up, you know, to what all is supposed to be. But, y'all, say bye to Louie. I'm going to go put him down. Y'all, he is so good. Like, he don't really do nothing. I know probably because he's, like, so new. He doesn't really do much. He cries a lot. I feel like he has separation anxiety because we're always kind of holding him. But when we put him down or like walk away or leave him, he gets the crying and all that. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm back. The phone stopped recording for some very, very odd reason. But like I was saying, y'all, I did my shopping at Target, of course. But honestly and truthfully, I didn't really have to buy that much stuff. I already had stuff from last semester when I was in a dorm. So what's the point of buying all the same stuff over again? But since I have more room, more space, I did buy me a little ottoman, you know, to like 
sit on it's like if i have people in there they can sit on it and it has a little storage compartment in it but for the most part i don't really buy new stuff i buy a new comforter of course new sheets and stuff like that and i also buy like other stuff in shell. so the colors i'm kind of going for like i don't know like I'm so used to being all girly, the typical pink, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I think I'm kind of changing my aesthetic. I think I'm not big on really, really bright colors or nothing like that. But my comforter is like a mustard color. So boom. My towels and stuff, I got like this orange, this rusty orange color. And this set came from Target. It had two, you know, regular bath towels. And it came with two hand towels. I think it was like $10, something like that. I got me a little clear shower curtain. This is like the really, it's really only a liner. But you know, I'm going to get like a normal shower curtain too. But I just couldn't find one that I wanted to match in my bathroom stuff. So when I find one that I want, I order it or get it. And these are just the hand towels that came with the set. Then I got some rags. Of course, you got to have your rags. It's kind of two different color rags, but they do the same thing. They're going to wash my ass and that's all that matters. So... I think they're both a six pack and I think they were like four dollars a piece. And then I just got this other like orange towel too to go with the rest of my bathroom thing. But yeah, y'all, I'm glad y'all met Lily. Yeah. He peed again? Yeah. Okay. Y'all, we trying to get him potty trained and stuff, but I don't know. Why is the bottom of you wet? He caught it like between the table and the sofa. And just peed. I'm trying to like get Lily, come on. Come on. Um, I realized that I had my own bathroom or whatever, so why not get this? It's like a little set. Come with a trash can, a soap dispenser, and a toothbrush holder. Because before I had shower caddies, you know, if we had a community bathroom in college, then you know how that goes. Just like, and if you don't know, it's basically a little bucket that you can carry in and out the bathroom, and it has all like your toiletry items, the normal stuff you use in the bathroom. That's what you, that's what you put in a shower caddy if you don't know. Then of course. You gotta get a mattress pad because I don't know who be sleeping up in their bed. I don't know if they had a mattress pad. I don't know what they. Mm, no. Of course, I'm gonna wipe it down and stuff. But it's always safe to have a mattress pad to protect you and to protect the mattress as well. Then, of course, for the bathroom, most people, you know, put down towels and they step out. I don't know. But I just thought it made more sense to go ahead and get me something on the floor because if you're like me, I don't really like my feet touching. The floor, wet floors, crumbs. I don't like that. So I just got me a little rug set too. It's just gray. So my bathroom pretty much is going to be orange and gray. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. That's all I really bought. Like, I already had like two containers and I have like, I already have organizers from my last room. So I just didn't see the point of rebuying everything. I don't know where my sheets are. Now I'm thinking about it. Did I even show you? Oh, yes, I do now. My sheets are in my ottoman. They're inside my ottoman. I forgot about that. And you know what I also realized? Let me let y'all know. Let me just put y'all down. If you are a freshman going to college or like, yeah, if you're a freshman in college, you do not need to buy a whole bunch of paper, a whole bunch of pencils, none of that. Like, you're not going to use it. Only thing you're really going to use is a laptop. I would say printer, but you're barely going to use that either unless you got like a speech class or a business class. But really, all you really need is a laptop and a charger. That's the only thing I recommend you having when you come to school. And a couple pens, of course. Like, you can have paper. Of course, paper and stuff is good to have, but don't OD. Because it's not middle school. You don't really... Um, you need notebooks, but you really don't. Because some people actually take their notes on their computer. I'm not that advanced. I stick to the traditional. But I'm just saying, you don't need like five packs of paper. You don't need that. You don't need five packs of mechanical pencils. None of that. You need a couple packs of pencils, a couple pens, your laptop, your charger for your laptop. That's really all you're going to need. Like, I swear, last, last year when I was coming to school, I was stressed out. Or not really stressed out, but just buying a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff. Like a stapler. I never, I probably touched that stapler like twice. Let me think what else. I probably used my printer. I buy my own printer because, okay, I would, I would say it was kind of like good having my own printer. Because if not, you're going to have to pay for printing. Unless your university has free printing. Mine didn't, so you would have to pay for printing if you didn't have your own printer. But... Yeah, that's, that's really all I recommend you having is a laptop and a couple pins, a few sheets of paper. Don't overdo it because you're going to be like, dang, I could have saved my money because I'm really kind of considering hustling it on the street. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm a mother. I'm officially a mother at 19. P. 
period but you know i ain't have no kid i got a puppy you know i got a puppy not a kid so i'm a mother i'm a puppy mother i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe also don't forget to follow me on my social medias at london cheyenne that's on both twitter and instagram and i will see you guys next time